Hi everyone, uh, out here on an absolutely uh, tropical morning, uh, balmy minus two, uh, 28 uh, Fahrenheit, minus two Celsius, 28 Fahrenheit. Um, had uh, Christmas come early for me a couple days ago, uh, two shipments showed up from Hobby King, a total of uh, three different uh, quad racing motors. Uh, I've already done a little, uh, some bench testing on all three of them, and I've written up my initial um, thoughts on this motor uh, with the bench testing numbers on my blog. So today uh, I wanted to uh, obviously get it out and field test it. So this is the uh, Emax RS2306 2750kV uh, uh, quad racing motor. Uh, again running the 6x4 APC gas prop thanks to uh, RC Plane Pirate, my my new favorite prop. Um, and you know just keeping it consistent with uh, the other tests that I've done uh, thus far. So uh, anyway I'm gonna just chuck her in the air here, give her a good thrash, and uh, talk during the flight and after about some of my thoughts. So here we go. Uh, it's a very torquey, uh, torquey little motor. Uh, you know, remember the last, my last video, I... <laughs> I tested the RC Timer 2306, so same size stator, uh, 2650 uh, kV. So this one has a little bit more KV, but I, you know, just flying it, it definitely has more torque <laughs> and more top end speed. Like when I'm going there vertical, I can tell that it's accelerating. Uh, you probably can't even see it anymore, but I can tell that it's accelerating uh, a lot better than the RC timer motor was. Where I'm noticing uh, most of the difference is kind of mid range here. You know, 50, 60% throttle, which is, you know, probably where I cruise most of the time. It, uh, it does seem <laughs> a lot, uh, a lot faster. Like it's just cruising faster. <laughs> Definitely a better, uh, slightly better hole shot. It's got probably the, uh, other than Maybe the uh, RC Timer 2207 or the B Rotor 2207 2780. I think this one has got uh, very close to the best, <laughs> baby, best hole shot uh, acceleration, and uh, and obviously vertical, you know, vertical punch out. Really, really uh, powerful little motor. So on the bench, uh, about 32.4 amps on a 3S. Uh, 28.6 ounces of thrust compared to the RC timer motor was a bit more efficient uh, 29 amps I think but uh, one ounce less thrust so 27.6 ounces of thrust but um, <laughs> Megatola of rock and roll um, you know not not to make the RC timer motor sound like uh, like a piece of junk because it's not it's a good motor but uh, Emax I think has really done their uh, homework on maximizing uh, the uh, performance of this motor the other nice thing is it's it's actually five grams lighter um, in the blog post on my initial impressions I I posted a picture uh, I think the total height of this motor is about four millimeters less than the RC timer one even though their stators are the same size um, you know, and I mean, I know sometimes five grams doesn't seem like a lot, but you know, when you consider a motor um, that are a very similar size inside, and then, then you know they've been able to save five grams, that's that's actually pretty significant. So we're going to a full throttle turn here, pull some G. All right, I think we gotta do try and do one more. Okay, not real close, but <laughs> pilot's uh, pilot's fingers are getting a tiny bit, uh, tiny bit numb. A little bit of frost to slide on this morning. Okay, so uh, yeah, I'm really uh, yeah, I'm really impressed with it. I what I'll, what I'm gonna say here is. Um, you know, when I first watched RC Plane Pirates video on this motor, 
he tested it on 3S uh, with this prop, the APC 6x4 gas, and uh, he actually, uh, I'll link to his video in the, uh, pardon me, in the blog post, uh, he was actually, he got 400 grams more, um, pardon me, more thrust than I did, which, uh, you know, our thrust stands are a bit different, mine's, mine's pretty crude, uh, and, you know, there would be difference in battery, but you're not going to see 400 grams uh, difference, I don't think, just based, you know, on a battery and a thrust stand. So what I'm thinking is the, the major difference between uh, my setup and his is he was using a uh, Turnigy AE uh, ESC, which are fairly new. Uh, he uses them quite often when you watch his videos. Uh, and he's mentioned that, uh, you know, with some of the really super high KV motors, which, you know, this is a pretty high KV motor, he's found sometimes that um, the only ESC that he can get some of those motors to run properly on is this new uh, Turnigy AE uh, speed controller. So I've ordered up a couple of those in uh, 45 amp size, uh, because in his test, uh, again, he I think he was pulling around 37 amps uh, and about 1,200... Uh, just over 1,200 grams of thrust, which again is like 50% more uh, than what I saw. But um, anyway, so that's going to be something that I'm going to try. And maybe that's something, you know, I love these Turnigy Plush speed controllers, obviously, but maybe that's going to be something to, you know, get myself out of the box a bit more with these quad racing motors because they are, uh, you know, different and uh, pound for pound uh, pretty, pretty uh, great. So like I said, uh, even though, you know, my numbers aren't the same as... Uh, is our CPPs. i uh, really, really impressed with how this works. This is working in this plane right now. Uh, definitely, like I said, uh, very, very torquey, uh, fast, um, you know, and uh, for the uh, for the amp draw, uh, you know, I, I, again, I think, you know, you, you see numbers on the bench. Uh, I'm thinking that, uh, you know, there it's probably kicking out maybe a little bit more than, than 28 ounces of thrust. It's certainly moving this plane along uh, um, again, my 56-year-old eyeglass-assisted Mark I eyeballs it could be lying to me, I don't know, but uh, it certainly does seem fast. And like I said, in that mid-range, uh, I just, I got the feeling there, you know, I sort of have muscle memory. I'm normally at around 60% throttle, and sometimes I'm at 60% throttle with this one. This is, I think, about the fifth flight, and I find like, whoa, I, like it's, you know, it's it's that much faster that I start to feel like, okay, I better... I better slow down here a little bit because it's you know it's almost like the plane is uh, is uh, you know I'm having a, a bit harder time sort of staying up with the plane if that makes sense. So um, yeah, because I, I think mid range uh, I want to say right at 50% throttle, uh, 17.6 ounces of thrust, and this plane weighs about 19.8 ounces. So getting darn close to you know nearly say at 60% throttle maybe even. Uh, one to one, very close to one to one thrust ratio. <laughs> Just at mid throttle, so, you know, for a little uh, forty-seven gram motor like this, it's <laughs> unbelievable. So, anyway, like I said, uh, plenty more testing to come uh, when the new uh, AE uh, uh, speed controllers show up from Hobby King. Uh, hopefully, that'll be, you know, kind of the next piece of the puzzle to really squeeze every. Uh, every ounce of juice uh, out of these little quad racing motors, especially the real high uh, KV ones. But uh, yeah, very, very impressed. D-Max, I think, did a great job on this motor. Um, on 3-cell, like you saw with the 6x4 APC gas prop, uh, she uh, she really clips along with this plane. So again, please check out the comments down below. There'll be more, uh, there'll be links to my uh, blog posts with uh, more details and my, uh, you know, after I've had a chance to get home and think about it some more. Uh, my uh, my thoughts on this uh, motor moving forward. So uh, thanks very much for watching. Blue skies, calm winds to everyone. Park jet noise, the other sound of freedom, baby. Take care. <laughs>